Right folks, I've just installed Windows 8 in a virtual machine and I wanted to try and give you some of my thoughts as a power user and just to give you some background on myself because obviously no one's really going to know me at the moment uh, I'm an IT professional and I install computer networks, telephone systems and the like for a living and I want to share with you why I think Windows 8 is going to be a disaster for professionals. Now the first thing everyone's probably going to be thinking is that's a Windows 7 desktop so yes that's correct. Um, I'm going to try and show you what I'm doing in Windows 7 at the moment and then show you some of the frustrations I have with trying to replicate that in Windows 8. Um, so to run you through what I'm doing in Windows 7 at the moment, I've got three websites open, Reddit, YouTube, dig.com. I've got my emails open with one, two, three, four, five accounts. I've got Skype open. I've got Conversations open in, in Pigeon in this case, but it's actually MSM Messenger Protocol. I've got virtual, uh, sorry, VMware, which is running the virtual machine with Windows 8 in it. And I've got the live cam software open, of course. So, let's move over to Windows 8 and see if we can try and replicate those things. all at the same time as well. So when you first turn on your Windows 8 computer it looks like this. Obviously I'm using a very large screen and now let's say I wanted to work with my MSN account. This appears to be the Metroified interface for MSN and I'll be straight with you, I can't figure out how to use it. Um, one of my chats came up on here earlier on and it's like, how did that happen? Um, you press the start button, it takes you back out to this screen. And I have figured out that if you drag down from the top, you can create like a, a second thing for multitasking here, but it only seems to have three different sizes. Um, here's a chat that came up earlier on, but I've, as I said, I have no idea how it started, but I don't seem to be able to type replies. For some reason, when I press enter, didn't seem to be any buttons on the screen. Um, I'm lost with this. Makes no sense to me at all. Um, okay, so I want to browse three different websites at the same time. So here's Internet Explorer, or it appears to be Internet Explorer for Windows 8. And let's just double check that we're still recording the screen correctly. Because I think I might have caught the webcam. No, we're still recording the screen correctly. Perfect. Looks a bit out of focus, but I'm sure it'll fix itself. Um, So I want to open reddit.com Okay, that seems to have opened uh, Now if I want to open another page uh, um, uh, um, um, <laughs> yeah, maybe I have to make it small again and, whoops, where did that go? What? <laughs> okay, let's go back into that. Ah, it's still there. I can't see any of reddit.com being that small, let's try and make it bigger. Oh. I want to open another 
page. Mm. Okay, what are these buttons here? Okay, that one takes me back. I don't want to do that. Um, mm. Okay, you can pin the page to the start menu, which is that metro menu thing. Uh, that one's refresh. Settings. Um, okay, so maybe you don't open them like that. Um, let's try it and open slash dot dot org as well. Okay, I want to switch back to Reddit. Maybe it's this button. No. Maybe I have to make it small. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm sure you get the picture, but it, how do they expect anyone to be able to multitask on here? Yeah, this is hopeless. Yeah, what if I want to open? Oh, I see if you... Oh, how did that come up? What? Okay, middle... Okay, middle... Oh. What the fuck? Seriously? Who designed this interface? It makes no sense. Smith popped up at the top of the screen, but I don't seem to be able to get into it. Okay, put this on one side. Maybe if I. Nope. Okay, so what am I trying to get at here? This metro interface does not make sense if you're using a keyboard and mouse, and what kind of input devices? are most people using on their computers. Yes, that's right, keyboard and mouse. Who the Oh yeah, ah, ah, I see. We right click at the top of the screen, that brings this up. Well that's um intuitive. I'm I'm sure Mum would figure that out very quickly. Not Okay, so I found out okay now I should be able to open another website then. Aha uh -huh. Okay. So now I want to chat with my sister in the messaging application. I want to do it at the same time to discuss something that I've seen on Reddit. Uh, how do you do that then? Maybe you right, uh, right click at the top of the screen. No, nope. Um, okay. Maybe you go into messaging and. Ah, okay, but I can't see the website because look how small it is. I can't read the font, and this is a 24 inch screen. I want to make the website bigger. Okay, that kind of works. But what if I want to talk to more than one person? Well, I guess. Go figure, because it doesn't make any sense. And. This message here doesn't make any sense. It says none of your contacts have the type of info used by this app. Open the people app to add this info to your contacts. Okay. So I'll open the start menu. People, 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 people application. How do we do that? I mean, it's an MSN account after all. Surely I should be able to do that. Uh, easily. Uh, okay. This is hopeless. What if I want to do more than oop, two things at once? Computer says no. What if I want to swap this one to over here? Or oh, you can do that. Uh, what? Okay, I want to check my emails at the same time. Check out how many steps this is. Press the start button. Go into the mail program. There's meant to be your, app, you know, your applications in here. And if you're a power user, how do they expect you to be able to multitask in there? So, 
you think, okay, they won't have got rid of the standard Windows desktop. Maybe I can continue to use the applications that I'm used to. Okay, that's a good question. So we've got an application here, it's called Desktop. You can open it, and it's a standard looking Windows desktop. So I want to open an application. Forget having them pinned at the bottom of the screen because most users don't seem to do that. Okay, so normally you go to the start menu. That's this massive great big screen, so you have to come out of all your applications just to open one. So I want to look at my emails. Open up Thunder, I haven't bothered to set up any email accounts. Okay, now I need to open up my web browser. Uh, start. Ugh. Okay, this is Mozilla Firefox. Great, it works. Uh, now I want to talk to some people. Um, <laughs> who the hell thought that it was a good idea to remove the start menu that we've been using since 1995 from Windows? Hopeless. Okay, so now I can I can switch between all these programs. Brilliant. This is kind of like it is in Windows 7. Thank God. But who thought that closing everything the user had open to open another program from here was a good idea? I mean... What the hell? If I can't figure out this silly interface... Then how the hell are they expecting a user to work it out? And let's just not get into how incomplete this interface appears to be I mean I want to I want to change the resolution to make it good for a different monitor size uh, how do they get that menu up again? what? Microsoft you need to fix this for power users because at the moment, how are you going to act, how are you expecting us to recommend this to our users when it's this difficult to use to a power user? And it's such a dramatic shift from what we're used to that I just can't see it working at all. Here's some tips for you. A computer has a mouse, focus, a mouse, and a keyboard. A computer is not a tablet. It doesn't have a touch screen. Stop believing that everyone's going to change every single thing that they've done for the past 15 years because you think this Metro interface is such a fantastic idea. That's all I've got to say.